Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius December 26, 2022. Today's moon transit stimulates your friendliness and brings out your need for a sense of belonging. As well, Neptune in your sign harmonizes with Mercury today, creating the perfect atmosphere for using your imagination and accessing your intuition. Dreams and fantasies can be nice conversation points, and you may learn something valuable through exchanging ideas. Your words can inspire others, and you can find inspiration in what others are saying. A calm and gentle theme works well for you. You can make a meaningful connection with a friend, and it feels good to interact, share, and accept. More than usual, you're seeking satisfaction and comfort from your social life, and today's atmosphere is refreshing. It's time to relax, have fun, and be romantic over the holidays. You'll be one of the zodiac signs that are the luckiest of all. Mental Mercury, the planet of the mind and communication, continues his happy dance through your solar 11th house of friendships and joy. He will send over some iridescent beams via a sextal straight to Neptune, your planetary ruler, who is now in your solar first house of identity. This ensures that you could meet a soulmate connection if single, but it'll be crucial for you to put yourself out there and be on the prowl. Go with the flow. Couples can use this dazzling vibe to grow closer with their one and only body, mind, and soul. How do you fit into the overall picture? Observe how you operate in your greater professional community and how you achieve your goals when Mercury in Capricorn sextals Neptune in your sign. Since today's transit might be more introspective, you should think about how you step into a role when you are networking on or offline. You might be surprised about where or how you fall into place alongside your colleagues. Part of this may be contingent upon how you view yourself as a professional. Try to have a realistic perspective while remaining hopeful. Jupiter's first weekend back in your income sector was always going to come with a call to let this settle without rushing into anything. That this coincides with Christmas will help with a call to hold back and especially as this won't be the case for long. The moon's return later next week means that you will end 2022 and move into 2023 with a sharp nose for money and luck on your side. This is a good time for encouraging different aspects of your inner self to come out of hiding, in order to help shift your habits to fit your true needs. Breaking down the old and welcoming the new is favored, and therefore developing the skills of careful aim and diligent follow-through. Be vigilant in your healthy choices, choose to drink copious amounts of water, and be even more vigilant in opening yourself up to learn what is inside. Even if you have to put in a full day at work, you can almost bet that your heart will be at home today. The place where you hang your hat and the people with whom you share your life are probably the most important things in your life. Consider taking some time to share and bond with them if you can today. Even if you have to spend part of the day outside of your home, make the most of when you are there. Before leaving your friendship sector today and wrapping up the new moon here two days ago, the moon will align with the remaining three planets here. This will add to a growing focus on connecting but it is after that, that you will notice a shift. The sun is only in his first weekend in your friendship sector and the focus on connecting will continue right through the holiday period and into 2023. However, as the moon returns to a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart you might find your energy levels drop and that you start to crave some personal space. Finally, you have reached a point in the year when you are able to slow down. The last planet has left your two professional houses, there is a sense of synchronicity and togetherness in the air and now the moon returns to a nostalgic and reflective part of your chart. With Venus, the planet of love returning in the new year, a sense of nostalgia in the air today is a chance to prepare for the romantic nostalgia ahead. Our eyes in the sky We'll be feeling more grounded and in touch with the sensual world today as the Capricorn moon forms a stellium with Venus, Mercury, and Pluto. This sign loves to indulge in the finer things, but be mindful of your budget if you you're in the mood to shop for yourself or others. A connection between the moon, Neptune, and Pluto could spell trouble for anyone who doesn't know their limits right now, 
So be mindful of this aspect during the first part of the day, and respect the emotional boundaries of others. Go easy on yourself if you're scrambling to complete tasks right now, especially if they are of the holiday variety. As the moon continues its journey through the sky it forms a helpful aspect to Uranus, giving us a chance to lighten up and find joy through communication. For those of you getting ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, it's a great time to indulge in your favorite holiday traditions. It isn't a bad thing to be ambitious, but you don't have the stamina or willpower to accomplish what you want to achieve. Lower your expectations somewhat and when the opportunity presents itself chill out every now and again. In this way you avoid some disappointments, taking far more pleasure in the things you do, and achieving your goals more easily. As evening arrives, the cosmic climate is perfect for connecting with our gratitude. Take a moment to see the abundance around you and thank the universe for the gifts it has bestowed upon you, metaphorically or literally. This is also a great time to enjoy delicious food, so give yourself permission to indulge in all your favorite holiday treats. In the morning, the Capricorn moon conjuncts Venus. We want to spend time with our true blues now, surrounding ourselves with those with who we can be our authentic selves around. This transit shines a spotlight on traditions. We might be gathering with family, sharing stories and recipes, or partaking in leisure activities. However, we may also feel obligated to our loved ones by virtue of long-standing relationships. Be mindful not to take their opinions or comments too much to heart. Their suggestions are coming from a good place, but we can misinterpret them as criticisms because we are extra sensitive and eager to please them. The early bird catches the worm but you're the exception to the rule. Avoid financial risks and play it safe. Don't enter into investments or accept bargains that are supposedly risk-free, but take your time. Today's constellation could have unexpected obstacles in store, disrupting the best laid plans or showing up the flaws of financial projects you thought were straightforward. In the late afternoon, Mercury in Capricorn sextals Neptune in Pisces, allowing us to express inspired visions through physical mediums. If you have a story, screenplay, poem, or art piece that you've been itching to get out of your head and onto a canvas, this is the perfect day to make it happen. In fact, getting ideas on paper can be healing, helping us to better understand the nebulous contents of our subconscious mind. This is also an ideal aspect to use for divination or bibliomancy. Answers to spiritual questions can be discovered in books or media, or in chance encounters with strangers. This is the first of three sextals that Mercury will make during its retrograde cycle. The narrative arc of these transits will highlight creative inspiration and supports editing your concepts so they can have the greatest impact. The second sextal will arrive on January 1, 2023, with Mercury in retrograde motion. The final sextal will be on February 6, 2023.